Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is video editorial for the problem Exor Pyramid taken from Code Forces Dynamic Programming category. So the problem is dated 1800, and of course we'll be solving this problem using dynamic programming. So the problem statement says you are given an array B of size M, then f of B is a function defined on array. Uh, if so, this is defined like this. Okay, so basically, if you are evaluating f on an array having four elements, so what it will do? It will take XOR of adjacent elements. So XOR of 1, 2, comma, XOR of, XOR of 2, 3, and then 4, 8. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 8. So basically in one step, it will reduce the size of the array by 1, right? So now we'll have three element. Now we'll perform the operation again. And then we'll have two, uh, two elements. And then after that, we'll perform operation again. And now we will have only one element. And as soon as you have one element, f of b is the first element itself basically if you have one element f of that element is that element itself right so now f of 1 2 4 and 8 is equals to 18 so this is the problem statement this is how function is defined so we are given an array and q queries in each query you will be given l and r and you have to evaluate or you have to find the maximum value of f on any possible sub array in this range so we will have a range in each query and that range can have multiple sub arrays right and for you have to evaluate f on all of them and you have to find the maximum of f on any contiguous sub array inside this range okay so this is the problem statement if i show you the number of queries number of queries are 10 to the power 5 number of uh, elements are only 5000 okay so this is the problem statement so let's see how we'll solve this problem now so suppose this was the input 1 2 4 8 16 and 32 by the grid you might have already guessed what we are going to do we are going to prepare a grid in this manner so first we have if we have any n elements i'll have n cross n grid so the first row will be of course the input itself the second row will be formed like this xor of these two will be first element xor of these two will be the second element and xor of these two will be the third element and so on so this way we'll prepare the whole uh, uh, grid so basically for cell ij uh, uh, cell ij will store cell i minus 1 j and i minus 1 j plus 1 so basically xor of these two so you, you are getting the idea right using the same uh, same way we'll fill the whole grid so this will look like something like this now what is special about this grid just think uh, might be i mean this question might help you so just think using this grid how we can find out f of l comma r in constant time so basically using this grid i can actually evaluate f of l comma r in constant time just think how in the meantime are you a student or a working professional who is looking for a great career in software development? Then you have to think about aspects like what's trending in the industry and the kind of questions being asked in interviews. Was the thought process behind the architecture of great applications like Google, Amazon, Zomato, Ola, etc. Show hosts on an academy are working with some of the top companies like Google, Amazon to name a few. They are 7 star coders on CodeChef and industry expert with years of experience. They'll walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they will ask questions raised by you. The shows will be covering a lot of content that will benefit your career. Like in live episodes, you get an opportunity to ask tech HRs about top 20 interview questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and MNCs. What's their eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great products. Even get your resume and college or personal project improved by getting them reviewed by expert SDEs. And not only that, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, aspects of digital marketing and data analytics. One of India's leading DM experts will be coming live on a weekly basis and teaching DM using practical projects and tools. You will be taught all about digital marketing from zero, so don't worry if you don't know the basics. We all know about the ads which run on multiple apps like YouTube, Flipkart, Amazon, Instagram, but how the companies manage to target the correct audience and convert these leads to sales. Some of the things that you'll find here but not on YouTube are live projects and interactive episodes. 
not everybody needs to pay a lot you can get your daily dose of learning and many more such shows only at one price that is 999 for an entire year and you can use my code code and code underscore ua and get 10 percent off and get the same at 899 so now let's get back to our lecture so the question that i asked was this how we can evaluate f of l comma r using this grid in constant time so to, el uh, to evaluate f of l comma r you can go to this row and this column in the grid and you'll find f of l comma r there for example suppose i wanted to find f of uh, 2 comma uh, 2 3 4 2 comma 4 right so basically i want to evaluate f on these three values so i'm saying that go to 3 uh, r minus l plus 1 will be 3 and l clearly is 2 so go to 3 2 which is this and this is your f of l comma r basically f of this how see to evaluate this what you will do you will uh, first find out xor of 2 and 4 which is here xor of 4 and 8 which is here and after that what you'll do you'll take xor of these two which will become 10 and after that what you'll do this will be your answer right because f of 10 is actually 10 itself so that's why f of 2 comma 4 is actually this which you can find using this formula why r why l minus r plus 1 l minus r plus 1 represents the range of your uh, sorry not range the length of your range right so from 2 to 4 there are three elements so go to third row right and uh, starting point itself l itself right why third c uh, first row stores all of uh, all of f values on length one sub array row 2 represents all of f value evaluated on length 2 similarly this represents uh, f on sub arrays length 3 length 4 length 5 and then length 6 so if you want to evaluate from 2 to 4 that means you want to evaluate uh, a sub array of length 3 so clearly you will find that in this row that's why row is r minus l plus 1 and then just take the starting position and there itself you will find it why because if you are here this actually covers this 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 whole uh subgrid that you are watching uh this is being covered by this cell itself so basically this whole sub array f of sub whole sub array this sub array you can find here okay now if the query is gi given in the actual problem two to four so basically you have to find maximum of this whole subgrid that you are watching right so you have to find uh in this range two to four you have to evaluate f on all length one sub array right and then take maximum of that evaluate f on length two sub arrays which will be this and this and take maximum of that and evaluate this uh f on length three sub array i'm talking about this range okay this is given in the query if this is given in the query two to four and you have to evaluate f on length three array as well uh sub array as well and then take maximum of that so basically take maximum of this 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 and this what is maximum all of this is 12 and you have to print 12 if the range was given from 1 to 4 then you have to evaluate i mean print maximum of all of these elements okay so you're getting the idea right clearly we can't go to all of these elements in the grid and take maximum of them and then print it of course we have to do some kind of pre-processing and then print the solution so we can do and i mean we can do pre-processing in n square time and then print the solution in constant time how so what we are going to do we are going to build a, a prefix maximum array okay so what how that will work is that uh, for example this element will keep maximum of all of these element right that's what we need and this this cell will keep maximum of all of these and this cell will keep maximum of all of these so basically if i have to print solution of a sub array this i can simply print this cell value stored at this cell and which you can find reward column using this formula so how we are going to build this prefix uh, maximum is try to do it yourself otherwise you can take uh, example from here so first of all we'll build the prefix uh, first of all we'll build the ar array taking input after then after that we'll be doing the xor operation and all and after that we'll taking uh, we'll be taking the maximum so first row will be the same as the input after that since this is keeping maximum of all of these so what we'll do this is max of either this or this or this element itself so max of these two is two and this element itself is three so max of two and three is three clearly so three here uh max of these two is four and current element 
I mean this element is 6 itself so clearly 4 and 6 maximum is 6 same goes for this same goes for this and same goes for this so now we have prepared till now so we'll fill this so what we'll do maximum of 3 and 6 is 3 uh, 6 sorry and here we are having 5 so clearly maximum of 3 I mean 6 and 5 is 6 so 6 will be here maximum of 6 and 12 is 12 and element here is 10 so clearly 12 is greater than 12 or uh, 12 is greater than 10 so we'll store 12 here same same will uh, same way we'll proceed and now we'll have this result array so each time you have to print the result we will be using the result array so if i show you the code of this problem here you see we are first of all we are reading the input and this is the result array result array is being initialized oh, let me increase the font size result array is being initialized with the input array itself the first row okay after that we we start building the second row uh, this this array first of all we have to build the ar array right and for that we are running loop from second to n and then of course starting from 1 to n minus i plus 1 so basically starting from here to here starting from 3 to here 4 to here and so on that way what we are doing ar of ij is equals to ar of i minus 1j i minus 1j plus 1 basically this is equals to xor of these two that's how we are building after that we are also building the result array how clearly maximum of three uh, things we were taking maximum of uh, these two element if i am building this element maximum of these two comma this this element i'll be taking from ar okay so ar of ij or maximum of below two elements right this way we are building the result array after that for l and r query calculate row calculate column and print the result from result array yeah this is the solution if you still have any doubt you can ask in the comment section so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and till the next video drops keep coding thank you